No one wants to faff about looking for the data they want within a pivot table. And that's what this video is all about. Today we're talking about slicing and dicing a pivot table. I'm going to show you how you can make that easy for people to sort and filter and get it out there for people to use. And if you want a copy of the spreadsheet I'm working on, plus the finished version at the end of the video, just click on the link in the description and I'll be sent straight to you. Let's get straight into it. What I'm going to show you is a, a feature where we can use something called a slicer and or a timeline to make it very easy to select different parts of this data and see different summaries. If we clicked on the pivot table, we'll go to the analyze uh, button and you'll see we have something called insert slicer and it's also insert timeline. I'm gonna insert a slicer and what you get is an option of, of what you want to slice. And we can use something that's already in the pivot table, but I think what we'll do is we'll add customer segment. So we can tick that and hit okay. And what that does I'll just move that over here somewhere. That gives us a box, which we can incidentally resize. So we might want to make it like that. And we can click on any of these and it will instantly show the exact same pivot table for whichever one. So if we only want to see corporate, for example, there's a summary of corporate. And this is particularly useful if you're giving the pivot table to someone else so they can use it and they don't need any kind of technical knowledge of how the pivot table has been made up or any sort of filtering knowledge. They can just click on whatever ones they want and see them all. And if you hit the hold down the control button, you can select multiple, multiple ones. And when you let go, the pivot table refreshes to show them all. You can also tick on this button where it says multi-select and that allows you to also select several at the same time. So for example, if you just wanted to see that pivot table excluding corporate, click on that, multi-select and do that. Now, you can make this look very good. So let's do that. And then if you want to clear the filter, click on clear filter at the top right and you get it all back. And you can have as many of these as you like. So um, if we click back on the pivot table, we could analyze, we could insert another slicer, for example, and this time we could do it on customer segment. Oh, sorry, we've done customer segment. <laughs> we could do province and hit OK. And then that would allow us, if we put down there, you can see it's given us a scroll bar now. Scroll through them because there's so many. But we could say put it up here um, and extend box size to cover them all. Do something like that. And then now, because it's a pivot table field, it's showing that just that one at a time, but we could have multiple. And then you'll see it's just adding in rows or we could clear it and put it back to everything. Now, if we want to get rid of that slicer, what we do is we click on it and we can just hit the delete key and that will take that option off the table. So that slice is a very neat fit feature if you want to give the pivot table to someone else. The other thing I said to show you is the timeline. Now this is a fantastic if you've got a date field included in your data. If we do insert timeline, you can see it's instantly just showing order date is the only option because it's the only date we've got in our underlying data. We we'll tick that, hit OK, and what do we get? Well, we get this strange looking thing here so get rid of that out there and move this order date back over here and make it a bit bigger right what this has done is it's defaulted to show us months but we can click on here and show years for example this is actually some very old data here uh, quarters and now we get quarters and years or we can go all the way to days but let's just uh, stick with years for the moment. And then you can click on a particular year, so 2010, for example, there, and instantly the pivot table will change to just show that year, which is an ideal way of looking at date stuff quickly by dragging it so we can use have more than one year. So if we're only interested in data from 2010 onwards, for example, that would be the way to do that. Similarly, if we went to quarters, 
it'll instantly show where we where we were same thing but we can then for example move it all in and just show that period for example 2010 up to the third quarter and what we can't do unfortunately is show multiple so just say Q3s if we wanted to do that we'd have to put it as a pivot table field and then filter it in my next video I'm going to be going into slices and timelines in a lot more detail so you can see the options in full if you're interested in that particular item. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description below. below.